Welcome back, Sherlock Holmes, Chapter 1. Uh, another advising day for me. Although this is a busy advising day, I actually have other treasure maps from the governor. Today as well. Find eight. So we'll get as far as we can, I guess. I've got twenty-nine monies. Uh, string theory, the musician one. Let's do that. St. Clement's Cathedral. Church of St. Peter. St. Clement's Cathedral. Okay, so... Um... Why have two... Okay. The, why have two fast travel points so close together? Don't get me wrong. Happy with the fast travel points. Travel in this game is not exactly exciting with the... I mean, the, the city is interesting. I mean, the, the window dressing and the details visually are excellent, honestly. Um, you know, the NPC routines are nothing. Extra, extra! The hive gets oh, right. stung! A substantial police... Interested in some Cordona news? Sure, I don't know why I'm collecting these, but... Check the front page. You won't regret it. Uh, anyway, so yeah, the NPC routines aren't necessarily anything to write home about, but the NPCs are varied enough, and there's enough window dressing that there's, you know, it's 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 fine. It's the audio. It's so quiet. The city is so quiet. Refresh your interior. Pick what you like. Do you have my stuff yet, or? Sorry, I've nothing to offer you at you, present. Not only do you have to visit all of the furniture dealers, you have to visit them in the of, So, all right, but here's the cathedral. Where's this guy? Got a uh, dapper gentleman in a white suit here. Hey. Is this familiar to you? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Alright then. Um, it's not a people icon, it's just a place icon, so I guess he must be here somewhere. Just gotta wait for somebody to start talking about a violin, I guess. Mm. Bacon. Um. We have a large assortment and pleasant prices. There's a musician over there, but that's not a violinist. Um. Also, our violinist has lost his violin. So I suppose let's. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. See if we can update our. Um. <clears throat> disguise wardrobe here. I don't have tons of money, and I should probably be saving them for the main quest, but still. Um, I mean, honestly... I feel like our we have the disguises that we need, really, to get by. Was there any that we missed out on last time that we could really make use of. Um, wow, there's so much. Yeah, not in particular. Of course. I think, I think, think we're fine, over. unless there's Take a specific time. need for something else. Exquisite furniture for your home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, posters. We're looking for posters. Ah, here we go. My old violin has been taken. If you have any information that may aid in my instruments return, please visit me on Professor's Road, north of Alder Street. Oh, sorry, Adler Street, as in Irene Adler. Um, no three. Adler Street, okay. There's Adler Street, Professor's Road. Adler so it's just right around the corner. Uh, oh yeah, and I haven't been calling it out, but many of the streets here are, are taken after Sherlock, classic Sherlock characters and or stories and so on. For example, Reichenbach Road, 
for the notorious Reichenbach Falls and Adler, and there was Lestrade Street, and um, there's a Baskerville Street somewhere in here as well. So there it is, Baskerville's right there, so on and so forth. So nods, I suppose, to the original. Come closer and try something on. I, I don't mind that they've taken some liberties with the characters at all. I mean, I, I have something of an issue with the wardrobe design. Uh, you know, but, you know, the way John is now is definitely different than he is in the books, but I, I don't have too much of a problem with it. It's fine. It's a video game, and it's their their version of the story to tell, so. I'm having deja vu. This house seems so familiar. Does it? Okay, well, he's hanging up a poster, so that's him. Greetings. Now, would you be here about my violin by any chance? Do you ask everybody who approaches you I saw from you your posters that it That's was weird. stolen. The name is Sherlock Holmes. Very pleased to meet you, Mr. Holmes. You're sick. I'm Anthony. What's wrong with Anthony you? Jones. But uh, by the sounds of it, you haven't seen my instrument, alas. <laughs> but if there's anything you can do to help locate it, I'd be most glad. Well, what happened? Just tell me exactly what happened. How was your violin stolen? Some needy soul broke into my home while I was out. The only thing of value they took was the instrument. Did you report the theft to the police? I did, but they dismissed it as petty theft. Petty theft? How much is this thing worth? Don't get me wrong, I, I don't blame them. They certainly have more important matters. No, you can blame them. It's literally their job to do that. You're extremely permissive here. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what I'm thinking right off the bat here, just from the nature of the story <clears throat> that he's told us so far, is um, there's various different um, studies into the motives of, of criminals that give way to criminological theories. Um, in this case, we have a violin. I want to know how much that violin is worth, but the fact that his house was broken into and it was the only thing that was taken tells me that this is... there's Okay, so there's two different types of profit-driven motive crime. There's low-hanging fruit, so essentially, you know, somebody will break into an apartment, they'll take anything of value that they're able to see within the time that they have, various certain factors that go into that, and they'll, they'll generally focus on items of extrinsic value. Right, it's things that everyone would find valuable in one way or another. Jewelry, cash, electronics, that kind of thing. And then there is what's known as a uniquely attractive target. So that is a target that is itself so valuable for extrinsic or intrinsic reasons that it would cause an offender to commit the crime just for that. So somebody broke in there maybe looking for the violin. It would be another crime if I let some petty thief get away with your beloved violin. So I need Let to know how much is the violin it. worth? Is oh, it enough to attract that sort of attention? Much. Or is I this a potential rival? As in, we're looking for the oh, intrinsic Come inside, value. I'll show you everything. He teleported into his own house. Anthony Jones, music teacher. Yeah, see, I mean, he's got a plaque that says he's a music teacher. So an offender would know, if they saw the plaque, uh, that he has instruments in there. Feel free to look around. Okay. Four centuries kicked in. I, so the first thing I looked at when I walked through the door here, and I, I know I don't really do a lot of commentary. I'm trying. I'm trying to be more. Um, communicative about my thought process here in the hopes that it's of some interest but the first thing I looked at when I came in here is that was a fucking rat um, was um, some items of extrinsic value as in if I broke in would there be anything that would be obviously valuable and honestly he doesn't really seem like he has very much I mean this cupboard is completely empty um, but that doesn't mean that there yeah there's a rat it keeps running around um Here, certainly items of extrinsic value. Okay, so that's where the violin was. They smashed the case. They didn't have the combination to that lock. Did they smash it with the bottle? I don't know. Seems dangerous. Well, there's this base here, but that's 
way too large to remove. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't seem to have very much. So our theory of this possibly being a rival or something looking to damage his reputation or something. It, it looks unlikely because he just doesn't have anything else really worth taking here. What do we have here? I see you've received many accolades. So he may be. Ah, those are from a long time ago. I used to perform a lot in my youth. So he might have a rival then. What, uh... These are intricate pieces of music. Quite beautiful if my sight reading holds true. Hmm. And... Sheets on the floor. Nothing there. What is this? Oh, he cut his uh, clothes. The scrap of fabric is covered in white stains. Salt. The thief left the bow. I suppose he prefers pizzicato. <laughs> The jagged bottle reeks of cheap whiskey. <laughs> An utterly useless theft deterrent for a glass display case. Well, it's still a deterrent. It's just not a very good one. There's different types of security controls one might put on something that they don't want to be stolen. Deterrent controls don't have to be foolproof to do their job. Just simply the act of having any lock is a deterrent control. It's just not... It's not a deterrent control uh, amongst a... It depends on the dedication of the offender. Any security control will be defeated by a, an offender that is motivated enough to defeat them. But simply having any lock is a deterrent against some offenders. Those who aren't willing to smash a display case, for example. Clumsy of a thief to cut himself on the glass he just broke. Well, he was Nothing drunk. was taken except for the violin. How odd. What else is there to take, Sherlock? There's literally he does not have anything here. This drawer is freaking empty, buddy. He's got sheet music. He's got awards, books. They're not stealing the piano. They're not stealing the bass. Those are too large. He's got more sheet music. Piano that's covered. He doesn't have anything worth taking. This way. cover is dusty. It hasn't been taken off for a long time. Okay. I mean, why would he? He has a piano over there. Or is... It's actually awful small for a piano, isn't it? It's very small for a piano. Anything over here? Yeah. Everything he's got of potentially greater value is large. Too large. These rats are driving me insane. I keep seeing them out of the corner of my eye. All right, dude. Anything else you'd like to know? Let's see, where were you when this happened? You weren't here when the burglary happened, correct? I was tending to my wife's grave at the cemetery. I was only gone a few hours and locked the door before leaving. Is this a leaving. regular thing you do? Like, do you visit her at the same time generally every week? Or month? Or what have you? Does anyone else live here? Karen, no. I guess we're not going to ask that question. My dear Emily died long ago. And God never blessed us with children. I used to give music lessons. But nobody visits me anymore. When was the last time you... When did you stop giving lessons? What was your last students like? Do you have any enemies? Is there anybody who might have targeted you? Okay. We're not going to ask those questions either. Alright, let's see what we got. Stolen. Okay. Bloody trail. Alright, so we'll go and do that. But first, we've got scrap of fabric here. We're going to see if this is indeed salt. <clears throat> I'd say chalk, but it looked like the... Uh, it looked like it had been from, like, salt water. Um, I live in a cold climate, so... Um, I know these stains very well, you know, when, when you have salt on the sidewalk to prevent ice buildup, it gets into the water, becomes salt water, it gets under your clothes, the water evaporates and leaves those kinds of white stains. So this could be somebody who works on the docks near the salt water or something like that. Um, 
uh, what is this? Uh, uh, d decrement. Increment and decrement. Okay. Negative three, negative four, negative, or negative three, negative four, and five. Okay, so here's this increment. Um, do, 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 do. Three, reverse that. Five, here's four, and increment. And then add them together. Clear negative four, negative five. <clears throat> Salt, salt and gunpowder. Okay. All right, let's do this bloody trail. All right, so, um, trail, where does it go? Oh, there we go. What are you looking at? Little chops. Are you okay? Fleshy fresh. You have nothing to say about this, okay? Um, was it through here? Oh, I'm supposed to examine the, the trail stops here among the waste. Among the waste? It's not very nice. Hello, sir. Would you like some fruit? Fresh from the orchard? I'm not hungry, but. I'm looking for a violin that was stolen. Any chance you saw someone with one? Uh, oh, yes, I did. It was sailors, sir. And they were very good customers. They ate lots of fruit and said that my donkey looks like their friend. A lieutenant, lieutenant, lieutenant Sean. Hmm, a lieutenant. Did you see where they went? No, sorry, sir. I was helping other buyers. Oh, and sir, the sailors also took my donkey. So I guess they weren't very good customers. They promised to return him, but they didn't come back. My father will kill me if he finds out. So I'm still waiting here for them. Do you know Anthony Jones, the musician? He lives nearby. Of course. Mr. Jones is very kind. He never barters. Funny you ask. I'm yet to crack a smile, so pray tell. Well, the first time they came by, the sailors mentioned something about music, so... I told them Mr. Jones can teach them how to play. Wait. So what is his violin? Oh. Um, the kid just seems like a rube. You couldn't have known they would steal from the old man. Fortunately, you made up for it with your testimony. I'll find them and your donkey soon enough. Stay put. Yeah, but maybe smarten up, kid. I mean, you're not going to make it very far with that kind of attitude. World's well, a dangerous place. Someone must have seen where they took it. It's a donkey, for heaven's sake. A donkey with a beret? What the hell? Oh, I'm supposed to ask for Are you able to help me? Mr. Fancy Clothes won't find any answers here. Oh, Mr. Fancy Clothes, eh? <laughs> Excuse me while I change right in front of you. <laughs> um.
Okay, nothing affects that. Nothing affects that. Oh! Damn! We got some new clothes for John. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, amazing. Amazing. How about now? Are you able to help me? Hmm. Interesting. But I've never heard of it. Uh, probably, yeah, I need to pin the right evidence. Could you help me? How about oh, now? Every story has a price. You're lucky I'm telling you this for free. I don't like you. One of the traders remembers the sailors pushing the donkey in your entrance and found the trailer car. This way. Is this relevant? One of them lost his cap. And the one that was on the donkey. Fountain. They certainly bought a lot of fruit from the boy. Fear of scurvy, perhaps? Well, that's not gonna help him with scurvy, it's a fucking banana. Well, okay, that's not relevant. Alright then. This surely must be. Surely. No. Okay. Hey there, sailor. Seen any donkeys around here? feel like I've lost the trail. Maybe that cart wasn't relevant. There, you see any donkeys around here? Help me, please. I'm on a break. I don't want to think. No. Don't let me stop you. Could you help me? Nothing stands between me and helping a fellow citizen, except the absence of knowledge. Ask someone else. This isn't working. Wow. You might need a different tack. Yeah, I know. Um, you're a drinking fellow. Where's the bananas we found? Where's the bananas? I see no drinking fountain. <laughs> Look at the way this guy's walking. <laughs> it's got some swagger. I'll give him that. Alright, um, so here's the bananas. We're definitely on the trail here. The hat's there. It doesn't really seem like they turned, so they must have gone this way. Hostile. You don't like Ottomans. Let me change. I know I'm probably going to have to anyway, so... <clears throat> That actually improves my... Oh, what is this? Officer's cap? When did I get this? Okay. Nothing I can do can really help. Okay. Alright. Yeah, now they're friendly to me. Okay, so that is what that indicates. Okay. Could you help me? I'd help you if I could, but I know nothing. I know this isn't one of those information gathering things with people, so I just don't see any other clues. The cart seems like it ought to be, but it's not. All right, I'm just gonna keep going forward with the assumption that I'm going in the right direction. Oh, do I hear? Uh, 
there's no fountain here. Then. Um, what am I missing? Uh, so fresh in the donkey near a drinking fountain by the archway with a column. There's so little to know. I'm gonna cut him so. Okay. Hmm. Salt and gunpowder. Wow, there's so little information here. The the eye is to concentrate, right? If I remember correctly. <clears throat> Near. Well, there's a bar nearby. Oh, how do you do? It may ring. They certainly bought a lot of fruit from the boy. Fear of scurvy, perhaps? All right, I'm gonna assume that the cart is somehow relevant and that this is the direction to go. I'm just gonna keep looking for another clue. I don't see any of them. Here, they clearly that the hat is here. And he just materialized the thing. If the hat is here and the bananas are there, they were traveling in this direction. They had to have gone down. Road. Drunks are wreaking havoc in there. Okay. 
I do not understand the point of the eavesdropping thing. I don't. Look, I don't know if it's supposed to be trial and error or what. Body sailors are wreaking havoc in the White Whiskers Tavern. They are raving mad and dangerous. No wonder the patrons are afraid to stand up. Is this them? How in the fucking world? The hat is there, the bananas are there. How in the fucking world are they supposed to have ended up here? Um. I'll cover you, partner. Oh, am I gonna have to do another one of these stupid fucking. Please don't make me do the combat. You're making me do the combat. Okay. Gonna kick his out. Okay. Like hell. All right. Ow. Take this. Too simple. I'm coming for you. Oh, shit. Take a rest, my friend. I'm coming for you. Oh, great. Come on. Too simple. The snuff's ready. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Give him the. P Take a rest, my friend. Can I be done? The snuff's ready. <coughs> oh, oh. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Good day. I'm coming for you. Don't they record cry, just you'll like live. one line of voice dialogue for these people. No great armor. I couldn't miss the party. Oh, too too simple. Dialogue. Give him the pepper snuff. Ready for some pain. Three lines of dialogue. Oh. And they all have accents because of Don't course bother even moving. British sailors You've lost. when they become bad guys develop accents. That's just how it goes. The guy's got his hands up and surrender and they still beat the shit Take out of him. Take a rest, my friend. Oh, hooray, we're done. Well, they left me no choice. I think I might be combat. nearing intoxication myself over. just from <clears> the smell of them. All right, so we've got the corn and bananas and such from the thing, so that these are the same people. Uh, oops. Should be somewhere inside the chat right now. I've got the evidence pinned. Oh, there it is. Found it. The maker's stamp suggests it was made by a student of Pressender. Quite a lovely instrument. And somehow, after all the mayhem, it's still in one piece. What about the donkey? Where is the donkey? Uh... I would, I would like to save the donkey. Don't tell me I'm just forgetting about the donkey. I mean, that kid was a rude, but he doesn't deserve to get, you know, in trouble for this. I mean, 
I say maybe it kind of does. I might learn a lesson, but I don't want the donkey to suffer because the kid made a poor choice. Really? Okay. Guess I can't save the donkey. You seen a doggy around here? Help me, please. You came here only to ask your questions. Well, I'm not answering them. Okay, fine. Fuck you, too. Why can't I save the doggy? Where is the fucking... It just... What did they do with it? <laughs> I feel like I missed something. I feel like the trail was supposed to lead me to the donkey. And then eventually to the bar. But I went a little bit out of order because I accidentally stumbled on the bar first. So... I might have missed out on the donkey because I didn't f oh. Is this? No. I can't even get close enough to you to talk. Yeah, I feel like I or is this really legitimately? No. Okay. I was gonna say that's a horse, but why are you... May I ask you something? No, my friend, I've never heard of it. Huh. Okay. Can I go back to the kid and at least tell him that he's probably around the bar at least? I would like to. Okay, alright. Do I go on a wild goose chase looking for a donkey in the neighborhood, or... Okay, well, um, and I know now at least they ended up here. Oh, there he is! Oh! Well, this must be Lieutenant Sean. The sailors couldn't get him inside the tavern. Don't forget to point the boy to his donkey on our way back. Hooray! <laughs> Don't forget to point the boy to his donkey on our way back. <laughs> All right. We found him. Damn, an issue hit the wrong buttons today. Hey there, kid. We found your donkey. I found your donkey. It's not far from here, outside the Wet Whiskers Tavern. You'd better go after it before someone decides to borrow it again. Thank you, sir. I'll be quick as a flash. Hey, Yusuf, please look after my cart, okay? And don't eat anything. Well, you can have a couple of grapes, but only the small ones. Well done. I look forward to the beautiful reunion. Hello. Okay, and now... You fellas. Do you know anything about this? Are you talking to me? Sorry, I wasn't listening. On purpose. Hmm. Okay. Suit yourself, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? <Hey>. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Alright. Okay, found your violin. 
Here's your violin, Mr. Jones. It might have gained a few nicks and scratches, but considering what it's been through, it's a miracle that it's still in one piece. God bless you. I am deeply in your debt, Mr. Holmes. The scratches don't matter. They are like scars, each telling a story. It is the sound that matters. Oh, you should hear her sing. It would be my pleasure. This melody, Sherlock. Don't you recognize it? What melody? Is that making any noise? Okay. Do I have the sound? Oh, I have music off. That's right. Look up, Sherry. Because there used to be an attic too. up there. We used to sneak in from the roof and listen to Mr. Jones play when we were children. You should tell the old man the truth. I think it will mean a lot to him. Bravo. I'd forgotten how beautiful a violin sounds in the skilled hands of a virtuoso. That, uh, melody, it brought back some memories. I have a confession to make, Mr. Jones. As a child, I used to sneak into the attic above this very room and listen to you play. Spellbound by the music. Oh, so that was you. After my wife's death, it was difficult to pick up the violin again. But knowing someone was listening helped me persevere. In fact, a young man like yourself could breathe a second life into this instrument. It's a remarkable outlet for one's emotion. You should have it. I... I can't accept that. And, well, oh, I don't play. Ah, uh, it's never too late to learn, Mr. Holmes. The way I see it, the violin chose you. Take good care of her. Um, okay. Sherry, I'm really glad we helped him. And that's how the sh how Sherlock Holmes learned to play the violin. Um, I feel bad taking what is basically his entire fortune, but okay. Um, was that that then? Yes, it is. Okay, um, what else we got here for the birds? Oh yes, the stolen bird. Um, how much money do I have? 58? That's enough to buy some stuff, I'm sure. Which furniture seller am I currently... Um, uh, seems most likely some furniture seller which we do not currently know about. I feel like there's a glitch in the coin quest where some of these I've already gotten. Um, all right, well, last time we did, we already got a couple of things <clears throat> for Stonewood Manor. We got some paintings last time, and we also did the Hive Master quest, so it mentioned something about getting some beehives for the garden. So let's go there and see if we've unlocked any new memories. Okay, do we have, uh, do we have, hey, we do have beehives. I should write a book about the behavior of bees someday. Okay. Hey, is anybody at home? Hello? Uh, I don't think there was anything else in the garden. I think it was just the paintings we got, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah. 
big old painting there. This portrait was painted some time before my father's death. I would guess it's the only depiction of him that remains. There's a painting in the painting. Um, this is not one of the new ones. Nor is this. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Alright. Um, where is that? That was covered. Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Must be upstairs, I suppose. Well, uh, that's not one. The mirror, which still reflects the back of my character instead of the front. See, look. If I look in the mirror... Do you see how my collar is square? That only happens in the back. The front of it is a v-necked. So this is... This is a very strange mirror. <laughs> um, that's another generic, not important painting. Guess the other ones must be in my room? I, I imagine the sketch probably is. Oh. What do we have here? Sharp and well balanced. It would be a pity to leave such a tool behind. So, okay. Um, you want to look at the letter? Sharp and well balanced. It would be a pity to leave such a tool behind. <sighs> okay, we have this two beds This time now. I was first to pick beds. This one's mine now. You just claimed the other one last time. What the hell? We're, we're gonna comment Sharp on Sharp and well balanced. It would be a pity to leave such a tool behind. Oh, is that supposed to be the knife from the investigation we did? And... Uh, okay. Bizarre. Um, but okay. Alright, there's the sketch. One of your early sketches of me. And a rather unflattering one at that. Just look at my nose. Wow. Hurtful. All right, there's the map of London that we found, or that we bought. Um, there's, oh, there's the sketch of Violet. You do miss her. And I, I think there was only four, so I think that's all four of them, but no new memories. Okay. It's very strange that this is here and we're not doing a damn thing about it. Like, there's a note there. Uh, how, what, what is that supposed to be? Okay, well, this was a bust. Um, okay, what else do we have? Um, the mother's love. Oh, that's right, we were going to talk to a neighbor. Um, near the Greek bridge. That's what we were going to do. That's where this is stalled. Let's go talk to that neighbor who had a balloon in his yard, apparently. Alright, Greek Bridge is to the right here, if I recall. And if there's still a balloon there, it should be pretty easy to find. Right, this is the Greek Bridge. There. So, is he here? Or here. No, he's not here because this is not a house. This is a gatehouse. So. Oh. We got something going on here. Hello. That wretch Goliath would. Don't stop on my account, but... Okay, that wretch Goliath, what? Okay, fine. Whatever. Destruction and trampled ground. 
you have something to say about this, John? It's as if a storm went through here. Uh, I suppose. Destruction and trampled ground. Oh, God. Teleported me to a dead body, okay? Um. He was certainly under pressure. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. <clears throat> okay, well, whatever it is. Trampled through. It was strong, whatever it was. Trampled through the gate. Avoided the locked gate. Um. Mangled. Drag marks. Um, toys. A gorilla. Tons of corn. Lots of corn. Apples. Chain. Top of a pole arm. Watermelons. Bamboo enclosure. Oh, God. This is quite comfy. You say so. Not a very secure setup for a gorilla. All right, let's check this out. An elephant. <laughs> That's even worse for an elephant. <laughs> A strong pull broke this leash. I said gorilla because at least it was an okay setup for a gorilla, but for an elephant, this is absolute insanity. Poke the elephant with this. Really, people are hopeless. A bit, yeah. A pool of blood and saliva, possibly as a result of impact. Sherlock, take a picture of the footprint. It's valuable evidence. This photograph can help us find the old article about the elephants. The front page was fascinating. It was hard to believe as a child. True. We may need it in our investigation. Okay. Um, so I guess we're not getting any information from our neighbor. There's the ball, you know. Didn't we get to fly in it as children? I doubt it could hold my weight today. An amount of attention that most can only dream of. Creepy. Okay, example Oof, body. A contortionist you were not. Like, completely smashed. A kneecap reduced to splinters. Some kind of... A belt from a dressing gown, curious. Is the elephant dressed to the nines? Broken neck. Disjointed vertebrae. Difficult to say if it was a way to start or finish him off. And another footprint. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Oh, come on. Oh, he's missing a finger. A missing pinky. Middle-aged. It's none other than Theodore Gilden. Oh, boy, Sherlock. Another death means another question. And we shall answer the question. It's far too interesting to give it up to the police. Okay, that's not how this is supposed to work. All right. So, am I supposed to follow those? All right. Yeah, okay. So we can go to the newspaper office, to the archives.
feel like I should be tracking the elephant. I feel like somebody should be doing something about this. I should be doing. Okay, well, we can go to the paper. Which is there. Ah, the Cortona Chronicle. Stop the presses. Who is Cordona's handsome stranger? Or knows Baggerspun's local life? Wait, uh, no. Foppish foreigner hides dark past. I, uh, um... Oh, you've made quite the impression already, Mr. Holmes. You care to tell your side of the story? I am quite certain I have no idea as to what you refer, and I am further certain I have no interest in indulging your gossip. Gossip? The truth will come out. But will only be heard if told well. Scandal, daring do, romance. These are the tools of every good journalist. Nothing travels faster or lasts longer than a grey. Young man, your tale will be told with or without you. My readers demand it. You already knew my name and seem aware of my doings here in Cordona. I presume this newspaper is your little endeavour? Yasmin Sertel, editor-in-chief of the Codona Chronicle, advocate of the free press, voice of the people, scourge of the silk stocking. Charmed, I'm sure. As an advocate of the free press, I trust you'll permit me to consult your archives? There are gaps in my knowledge of Cordona. Oh, so my work does have merit. Well, I think we can strike a bargain. I shall provide you access and you let me keep writing about your exploits. <laughs> You're going to so do it either it. way. So. Brooding bachelor builds bridges. Now that's character development. I guess I owe you my gratitude. What can I say? I've always enjoyed working with the Holmes. They whisper such interesting things. Okay. Um, archives. Okay, ten years ago. Um, the Grand Saray and um, front page, no. Current events, no. Advertisements, no. Okay, um. Interesting. Okay, um it was a front page story. Okay, so front page. Would have been ten years ago. Should be that. Science journalism was published ten years ago. It would have to be Grand Saray. That's where both he and Holmes live. Um, Got 
lobby of the district. It's not. Okay. <laughs> Says it was a front page. Alright, let's get rid of the period. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh... New entry in John's chart. What the hell? Um... Am I supposed to do... Oh, I'm supposed to do this first? Okay. Not particularly useful. Um, He's just, that's all he's doing? These little, these little notes that I keep getting that he's writing in his notebook? These are just him complaining about us being in the archives? Okay, well that's extremely unhelpful, John. Thanks. Um, am I supposed to be looking for the science journalist? Okay, science, science journalist. Front page, 10 years ago. Oh god, there it is. Alright, that one was kinda on me. I'll take some responsibility for that. Lord of the Beasts. Written by Dr... Ian Menzies. Only a lucky few can claim to have beheld this planet's strangest and most wonderful fellow, the elephant, said to be land's largest animal. This colossal yet friendly creature enchants all with its size, intelligence, and communication. Elephants are mammals just like humans and originate in Asia and Africa. Despite the despite feet that reach 18 to 25 inches in adult males, the elephant is surprisingly agile and in concert with its prehensile trunk can perform feats of remarkable dexterity. Elephants form strong emotional bonds with their loved ones. Some scientists have reported witnessing signs of grief or happiness. Perhaps the question is not how much elephants resemble us, but how much we resemble them. That's the article. Feeling old already. New entry in John's diary. Am I going to have to listen to him? Bitch again. All right. So this was just a this was just a side thing. This is not okay. I thought that this would lead us to another clue, but apparently there's more to discover back at the Gildan residence. Um. Okay. I messed something down at the crime scene. As if they were struck by a battering ram. I wonder how we managed not to hear any of this. Good question, John. It's as if a storm went through here. What's this? A sailor's knife, useful for cutting wet and thick ropes. It's not broken. Oh, it's a sheep's foot knife. 
It's seen a lot of use. The blade is worn from grinding. Hmm. A coal gas tank. Enough to pump up an airship. Oh, okay. Fresh signs of impact. A rough landing led to an altercation with this shed. Okay, I wasn't expecting this to be a whole thing. Um, okay. Um, I, okay, um, I guess let's do it. Um, I have no idea. Honestly, I was not suspecting foul play at all. It looks simply like the elephant escaped. Um, but maybe that's what we're meant to do here. Okay, apparently foul play is being... I mean, is the article that I found supposed to tell me that elephants would never attack their their uh, handlers? Because um, they would. They do. It happens all the time. Alright. Um, the bosun's knife probably belonged to him. Um used it to cut ropes, so... Elephant escapes. And I have no idea who that would even... I have no evidence at all of foul play. And this was definitely not done by a man, so... drag marks, so he was dragged. Yeah. I, I don't see any human footprints. I do believe he was dragged and deposited here. The sash, the uh, ribbon here, what is that about? I mean, it seems to me like this is what happened. Although, killing him here is also certainly possible. And it also jives with the placement of that hook almost perfectly. So, and he did drag him. So I'm guessing he killed him there and dragged him over here. I mean, that's what I see evidence for. That's what I'm going to go with. In a fit of rage, the elephant broke the chain and threw its victim on the ground with a fierce power. Escaping the scene, it pulled the body with it, but dropped it at the gate. At least some of this was witnessed by a third party who was hurled against the shed. The elephant can't have gone too far. I can still track it. Well, suppose you find it. Then what? Yeah. Push it all the way back to the manor? Exactly. Okay, I gotta talk to people. Which way do we go? Can I ask you a question? You're a good sort. I'll help you. Listen closely. Cross the Greek bridge in the direction of the forest where Theodore used to walk it. Barged into this cart of olive oil. 
What if we're lucky and he slipped and fell somewhere along the way? Can you satisfy my curiosity? You won't get any answers from me. Okay, fine. Okay, hear me out. If an elephant falls in the forest and there's no one around to... John, no. Oh, you're such a killjoy. Go for a swim. Doesn't seem like we have much choice. Okay. Oh, what? Ah, come on. Are you for real? Oh, my God. I gotta run all the way back now. Was hung with care. Yeah, here's the rule. I am writing to you as a fellow islander. I value our friendship as I value the lives of our people. Although I'm afraid this one-sided friendship cannot tie my hands any longer. Being made to look weak in the eyes of your neighbors, they believe that your tree is a mockery and not a peace offering as you intended. The people are afraid you refuse to give your elephant a proper trainer instead, using your own limited knowledge to teach it. It's an impossible situation. I admit that I did think of having the elephant forcibly taken and given to Mr. Ta Tailheart, who has shown that he is quite capable of looking after the elephant, Bean, although she is female and far less frightening than your beast. Please can reconsider the situation. William Sinclair, Governor of Cordona. <laughs> The game has escaped us, for now. We'll find a solution to the elephant problem later. Okay... Um... Okay. I feel like that's not the end, but... Alright. Find a set of keys in Theodore Gillen's dressing gown. Can I look those keys over or uh fatal battery damage in the shed? Uh yes. Okay. Um, I 
I suppose I'm supposed to go back. This key is supposed to be to this house or something. I thought I thought that I could look at the key afterwards, but it doesn't seem like I actually can. Um, all right, I guess let's just travel back and go back and see if we can use this key anywhere. Servant. I guess you talked to him. There was a third party there. Okay, we can go in. This is way more involved than I expected it to be. Um, every tusk. Does this just lead outside? Spears. Jesus, look at these walls. I suppose when you only have one room in your house. You! Who are you? My name is Sherlock Holmes. Theodore Gildon was... Did you kill him? Did you kill the elephant? It's not in the yard anymore. It escaped into the forest. You can't let it go. What if it returns? I highly doubt that, miss... Imogen Gildon. Please, I beg of you, find that dreadful beast that killed my father. I suppose we do need to learn what happened. Okay. Um, yeah, what did you see? Can you tell me what happened? From the very start. I was here, so I didn't see how it began. My father visits the enclosure every morning to wake up Goliath. Today, I heard the elephant scream. I've never heard such a horrifying sound. My heart stopped. I knew something was wrong. I looked through my window and saw how it... How it lifted my father up by his neck. I rushed downstairs. I saw it dragging my father as if he were a doll. I threw stones at it. It dropped my father's body and charged outside, screaming. Its roar was almost human. I was frightened, so I ran inside and hid here. Mm. Probably pretty insensitive to say that he brought it on himself, so... That is a terrifying Although experience, Miss Gildon. I'm sorry you had to go through it. Thank you. Goliath must be caught, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you for the information, Miss Gildon. I did have some questions for your father. Perhaps you might help me with them? I wasn't privy to much of my father's life. And it's very hard to think of anything at all with Goliath still loose. Please, Mr. Holmes. Very well. Do you mind if I ask you more questions if I find anything that might help? Anything to catch that monster? Um, Miss Gildon, I was on this island ten years ago, and your father knew my mother. I believe I even had the opportunity to ride that balloon outside, but I do not recall seeing you. I lived at my late mother's in Sheffield at the time. I'm in no spirit to reminisce right now. The elephant is out there. You've never heard the name Violet Holmes before? Perhaps your father... Please, Mr. Holmes. With that beast roaming free, I can't think of anything. Oh, shut the Very fuck well. up. Jesus Christ. Um, provide evidence. What? The letter that I found? Uh, no, I don't think I'm ready to do that. Um... Okay. I'll I have to leave you for now. I'll come back to you, I guess. Um, uh, you are too old for tea parties with dolls. Um, let's see you, Who's a cute bird? Helpful as always. <laughs> False idols. Bazookiology? False idols? Oh, sounds utterly dreary. (laughs) 
She packed as much as she could carry. Is this the gentleman uh, who the was same the third dull party? poses on all romantic photographs? So idyllic. Enjoy your happily ever after before it stales. Hey, Sherry, we need to talk. Okay. You found false idols. We need to find the remaining two. What does bazooka even mean? Would this paper be good for anything but blowing one's nose on? They're not rubbish, Sherry. There's something more. I'm serious. Very well. I doubt it'll be worth it, but I will find them for you, John. You'll thank me later. They're some of the most imaginative books I've ever read. What did you say? Speaking aloud helps me think. Okay. Ah, the backwards mirror again. <laughs> uh, creepy. Um, okay, I still don't know what evidence we're supposed to be presenting her with. Um, I'm stuck. Okay, I assume that there's more. I haven't seen it yet. Though apparently not. This entire manor house has three rooms. Oh god. He really had a thing for elephants. Um, he even has a chair out there facing it so you can see it. Uh, the nicest spot in the room. Mr. Gildon spent hours of his life right here. Staring at an elephant's backside. What a wonderful life. Smoking cigarettes and watching elephants. Looks eccentric and smells eccentric. Ah, oh, boy. Quite the spectrum. From the history of the Roman Empire to conspiracy theories of the French Revolution. mother. It's nice to see her young and smiling. Well, apparently that family photo isn't the only remaining image of your father, either. From before Mycroft was born. Our family loves to prod at the past. Holmes's desire to rake up the past is hereditary. Planning another trip. Catchy title. A Swift is no longer a partner. A partnership annulled with a single stroke of a pen. so special about this place? Another elephant? I should take a photograph of the plants. I don't want to carry them around. Oh god, it's so fucking creepy. Press that pink. Relatively functional choice to replace the finger. Perfume. Oh, the pungent stench of an animal. Did Theodore seek some pink elephants with this? Was he murdered by somebody putting pheromone cologne or pheromones in his perfume or whatever? I think Miss Gildon has barely matured. I mean, you could say that again. Let me see this. 1868. So it would have been about 10 years ago as well. Seventy-seven. I think they were closer than you and me, John. I'm hurt. Hmm. Yeah, did somebody spike his perfume with, uh, or is that how he kept control? I don't know. Let's see. Um.
Local wealthy resident Theodore Gildon 55 has purchased an Indian elephant from a traveling circus. This is 1875, so about five years ago. Mr. Gildon commented, it is a wonderful opportunity. There's no one on this island better suited to provide such a comfortable home for this elephant. It is a paradise for a noble creature. No longer will this animal be locked in a tent with clowns. He will be my companion from now on, my second child, and I will protect him. Don't be jealous, people of Kodana. I am your best citizen. Wow. Really full of himself. Um... Time will tell if this isn't uh, the neighboring and the owner are shocked to read the news and furthermore to hear the terrible trumpetings of the beast. But they are having, they ha but they are having to accept the eccentricity of one of Cordona's most powerful. And we can all say that the richest of our island have troubles to bear too, the same as the rest of us. His second child, an apparent son and heir, I'd say. Okay. Um. So I think I have the evidence that I need to speak to her again. Um, provide evidence, first of all. Um, let's first talk about Paul. I found this. Who's this young lad next to you, your faithful knight? Paul! He's my pirate. He's not really a pirate. I just call him that. It probably sounds very silly. Yep. Your secret is safe in my hands. Does Paul work somewhere? What is his surname? His name is Paul Perks. He and his yacht Whirlpool are the champions of the Salacia Yacht Club. He sails there. I'll show you where it is on the map if you need to meet him. A yachting champion? Oh, well, that will be a first. I prefer dry land. And so does my suit. Okay, um, what do you know about this How books? can you read something like this? It's hard to swallow, and that's not due to the hard cover. You're hardly serious. Any library without Nabe and Laura is incomplete. If you can read, then these books are an absolute must. Love and adventure. They're about life. Oh, I wasn't aware that exploding pyramids were part of daily life on Cordona. You haven't seen life. So you might try reading about it at least. Okay. Um. Do I have to ask her about all of these? I mean, I'm really mostly interested in the perfume. Vial. And, uh, which part of the elephant is in here? It's quite pungent. Oh, that. It's elephant sweat. Father believed that it might replace traditional amber grease. Well, that's true entrepreneur spirit. Okay, so it's not what I thought it was, apparently. All right, then, what's this A-Swift thing? A-Swift? Is this name familiar to you? Your father had it removed from this plan. Oh, that's Arthur Swift. I've seen him a couple of times here. He works with my father in the old city, digging up something ancient. He is an archaeologist? That's the word, yes. But to be truthful, I really don't think Mr. Swift is fit to be one. I've just learnt a lot about archaeology from my favourite book series, Oh, they are page-turners. Inspirational, I'm sure, but would you happen to know where this Mr. Swift might be found? I don't, but perhaps you can find out somewhere. My father's work with him is all official. Lots of boring legal papers with signatures and stuff. Okay. Somewhere in Old City, I guess. Um... These bags of yours, it looks as if you've packed your entire room. Were you planning on going somewhere? My partner and I, we wanted a change, a fresh start abroad. But now I have to stay here. Here, an orphan. Okay. Did you observe anyone else in the yard? Any of your servants, perhaps? Servants? Do you imagine that we would have any with Goliath? I mean, no one wishes to work in this house, right now, so. even for double pay. I didn't see anyone else. Only my father and that diabolical beast. Hmm. 
Had Goliath been aggressive before? It's dangerous, but it was never aggressive near my father. My father would do anything for Goliath. All the elephant had to do was clap its ears. You envied him, the elephant, I mean. Our house is called the House of Ivory. I've heard some people refer to me as the Ivory Girl, and my room stinks of the animal, as if it's me who lives in a pen and not Goliath. It's not envy, Mr. Holmes. It's just incredibly difficult to live like this. And I can't question her anymore, okay? Okay. Here's one for research. Um, but all right, so we have one th uh, we have one thing for research, <laughs> but we also have a lead on Paul Perks at the yacht club, which is close by. So rather than going around Old City, I'm just gonna jump over there. Is it running distance or it's yeah, we're better off fast traveling. <sighs> Masterpieces Ooh, by sorry, I have nothing to offer you at present. Excuse me. Garden sir. statues, swings, and even more. Sorry, I have nothing to Excuse offer me, you. Sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Um, let's see. I really don't like this suit. I don't like any of the suits that have one sleeve rolled up. It's very weird. Um, I guess we'll go with the classic look for now. I don't remember ever getting the officer's cap. I don't know where that's from. Uh, hard it be. Okay, good enough. There's the yacht. Who did she say his ship was? Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, just one question. I have nothing to hide, sir, but I've never heard of this. May I ask you something? That's a question I can answer. Okay. Yacht Club members mentioned that Paul missed the race, and no one has seen him since morning. He might be in his room in a workshop south of the Yacht Club. Oh, Paul. Paul, oh, Paul. I can see that we already have all of the things in here for a combat session. The bags of flour and the, and the fire extinguishers and whatnot. So, please don't have a combat. That's the world board But where is he? Whirlpool. Okay, climb it. 
through the window. Bloodied bandages. Has someone been hurt? Where would a champion hide a key? We can become pirates and show them what should be stored in here. Okay. If you say so, John. A foghorn to navigate and warn others at sea. It should have a warning to cover your ears. Foghorn. I wonder if he could have used it to... No, because nobody said anything about... Oh. Sails of hatred. I suppose there is something for everyone, including champions. <sighs> Who knew archaeology could be so exciting? Exciting is certainly a word. Okay. Well, I do have this. The foghorn and the books, and this is. Like, there's so many clues here that aren't really. Fresh lighter room. The champion's whirlpool. Pools bread and butter. Okay, where is Paul? He's gotta be in there, right? Maybe I just didn't have the right evidence. Oh, I didn't have the right evidence pinned, of course. Recently moved. I hope Paul is more skilled at yachting than he is at hiding keys. Too ordinary a room for a champion. There's no incentive to put in any effort. An expensive set of tools for woodwork. An amateur wouldn't know how to use these. Oh, some more of those darts that I have in my room. A box full of darts. Each has a needle and can be loaded with drugs. Shipbuilding, shipwrights' tricks, sail weaving. So there is foul play. Bloodied bandages. To earn big, you have to spend big. Old betting slips. Paul always bets on Whirlpool. One victory after another. An interesting place for a message to a champion. You know, take back our deal. You do not get to leave on a whim. We need you to get us fresh waves for our tea party. Fresh leaves. Party party. If you have any questions, the boys will be keeping an eye on you at the race. Additional earnings to sweeten the victory. Mm. 
You gormless gilly wetfoot. You think you can leech off my family, steal my money, exploit my daughter. The sense today your career is over. I shall give you one final warning. If you refuse to cooperate, you will find yourself in deep water, Gildan. Okay, so they didn't. Mr. Gildan wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty. Okay. Four clues and none of them go together. See Paul, though. <clears throat> Excuse me, stretching. I'm here looking for Paul. Find no Paul. It says that there's some concentrating to do, but I don't see any. I mean, he was here. There's bloody bandages here. Okay, I guess we'll go to Old City then and see if we can track down Arthur, because I have no fucking idea. Alright, how do I find Arthur? Or, I guess we can do the research first here, that's probably what leads us to Arthur. Um, they were working together on a project in the old city. Involved a lot of paperwork, so I'm assuming this is going to go to City Hall. City, legal documents. Now, there we go. 
By authority of the government of Cordona, this deed registers the creation of Gildan and Swift Limited on this, the 21st day of June, 1877. Peter Gildan is the sole proprietor and founder of the above enterprise and shall provide finances in the land known as the Roman outskirts. Arthur Swift has found Oh, sorry. Arthur Swift is a founding partner and shall provide finances and his services as archaeologist. The primary purpose of the enterprise is to perform archaeological research in the ruins located at the intersection of Bizarre Road and Arnott Street, beyond the fortification walls in Old City, Cordona. So the proprietor here under sign hereby agrees to fund archaeological research. In exchange for ownership of any uncovered items of historical value, the founding partner undersigned here why it lays all finders' rights and ownership. Okay, gotcha. With your love for Old City. Bizarre. Bizarre and are not just outside, so over here. Archives, you would have made the perfect bureaucrat. Mm -hmm. Sure thing, John. What do you say? All right, my closest fast travel is the coffee house. From day to night, Aiden stands there, recruiting non-rebellious workers for the dig. No. No. Still not sure if there is a better way to do it. From day to night. Well, I guess we'll have to try again. Remember to focus only on what's relevant to the room. From day to night, Aiden's... No. Apparently not. Apparently not. What the hell? From day to night, I've ever heard that in order to enter the dig site, we need to be employed. A man named Aiden recruits new workers in the old city marketplace in the west end of the district. He has a scar on his neck and only looks for working types with a pro British attitude. Okay. I can't change my clothes here all of a sudden, huh? Okay. Marketplace. Here. Worker. <laughs> All right, got my worker kit. Where's my closest? God, there is no fast travel point closer than this. Oh, my God. Hmm. All right. Well, I've been recording long enough, I think. Uh, next time we'll continue this investigation. Um, and uh, get recruited so that we can go into the ruins and finish, uh, finish this case. Um, 
yeah. All right, so have a good day. We'll see you. We'll see you next time, and we'll finish this up. Okay.